guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore, and in today's video, we're about to do some testing, boys. We're gonna do some testing with a proven bike that we've had here at the shop on pump gas. We're gonna drain that gas out, and we're gonna put some new stuff in called Fuel Factory 2WL. Now, what is Fuel Factory 2WL? Well, we're gonna talk about that more in here in a second, but what bike are we working on today? None other than Big Country's Honda Gang CBR 1000 RR. Now, he has got this thing all done up, Van Diemen full titanium exhaust, lightweight wheels, you name it, Country has researched and developed and got it, dude. So, literally, why you wanted a Honda to start with, I have no idea. I'm just kidding. They're nice bikes. Brother, it's red, it's white, it's blue. It's an American muscle. Except for it's made in Japan. Brother, not this one. Alright. So anyways, country. Now these things are super nice bikes. I give him hell. Damn, whatever. So he's got this thing fully hooked up. He has done tons of R&D with this platform to find and discover the best parts you can get for these things what makes the most horsepower and what he can do to make this Honda fast and competitive against all the other brands. He's done a killer job so far. They're flying, but he's still on pump gas. We're going to get rid of that today. We're going to see what we can get out of this thing. Let's see what this horsepower in a can can do for us. So before we run it, we got to talk about what's done to it. So Van Diemen full titanium exhaust, turn 13 velocity stack, Sprint F185 air filter, Core Moto wheels, worldwide ceramic wheel bearings. Anything else we could think of, Country? G-Force racing board throttle bodies. G-Force racing board throttle bodies. Is that it? Oh, the more Mafia ECU flash, gotta have that. The lightweight gas cap, gotta have that. 520 chain conversion. 520 chain conversion, that is something that does make a difference. Anyways, the biggest thing, we're 92, 95, it was said 95 earlier, but the biggest thing, 44% humidity equals terrible dyno numbers normally, but it is what it is. We're gonna have a starting point and a finish point. We're gonna see what just this fuel alone can do for us. Let's do a baseline dyno pull and see what kind of power we make on pump gas. Then we're gonna drain the tank, get it bone dry, put the 2WL in there and see where we stand. Here we go guys, baseline pull. came up with 178 and 178. Now you can see it's just a tiny bit too rich and when I say a tiny bit, I'm talking about one or two percent. The last time we had this thing on the dyno, it made higher numbers than that, but it was about, I don't even know, 65, 75 degrees, something like that. Much, much cooler, much lower humidity. That's why it's a tiny bit rich now, because like I said, when we did the tune, little cooler, little drier, a lot better weather. 
We're gonna drain this gas, get this gas out, put some Fuel Factory 2WL in it, and just see what it does with zero tuning changes. All right, guys, take a look at what we got. Notice on there, it clearly says, Chris's gas, do not touch. I go tell him to get some gas out of the shop. Look at which one he comes back with. Dude, I didn't told you. That means it's half off. No, I done paid for all of it. Exactly. Mate, you give me half the money then. Brother, just put it on my OE. Yeah, you owe me everything now. All right, so back to business. We got to dyno this thing. Let's see what kind of power it makes. We haven't changed the tune. We haven't touched the ECU. We haven't done anything besides pour the 2WL in the tank. We're going to get it super hot, run this stuff through. We'll do three pulls back to back to back. It's going to be crazy hot. As you can see, it's 200 degrees now. The dyno room is currently 94 degrees, which that temperature is going to go up pretty quick because the bike is going to be red hot. Fans on. Your battery's dead. Oh my God, dude. Come on, country. You need to buy some new parts for your bike. That's what you get for stealing my gas, boy. Country got him a good battery in here now. Full spectrum power, P.4. How much weight did that thing say? Dude, over three pounds. And it's got almost 75 more crank of ass. How much did it cost you, country, since you tried to, you know, poop me out of my gas, I guess you'd say? It cost a little bit more than the gas that I stole from you, but it's good, because me and you don't work it out. <laughs> All right, let's run this gas through there, see what kind of power she's making. We're gonna do three pulls back to back to back on this one. That way the Tito 2 wo has time to work through there. call some badass fuel take a look at this stuff literally pour it in the tank 186 and 187 look at our air fuel ratios they definitely need some love and adjusting so the bike is a little on the lean side now meaning it needs a little more the more fuel we put to it the more it's gonna like it overall super impressive if you haven't heard of it yet fuel factory 2wl it's a must have. Now let's get this thing tuned and dialed in. We're probably gonna pick up another two horsepower, but let's get it finished up. All right guys, the numbers are in, the power gains are good. I had to dial in the air fuel ratio on this thing. It took a good bit more fuel. Now it made basically the exact same horsepower finish versus not finished with the 2WL. So the leaner that fuel is, of course, the more horsepower it's gonna make. Well, once we tuned it and got the air fuel ratio right, we had to add a good bit more fuel, but our power numbers didn't really change. But if we were at the track or on the street, the performance is gonna change. So it definitely helps a lot to have it tuned. 
Now you saw how much power we gained just by pouring it in the tank. I'm not gonna promise you the same horsepower numbers for everybody as far as the gains because this tune was a little too rich on pump gas, which is what this fuel needs. This fuel needs a little, I, or I guess you say it needs more fuel. So if your bike was a little too lean on pump gas because you hadn't got it tuned on that or the tune's not right, and then you pour this, you may not see that big of gains because now it's way too lean. Well, in his case, speaking of that guy, his tune a little rich. So that 2WL worked great just by pouring in the tank, almost basically nine horsepower gain right off the rip. What do you think CBR 1000? I mean, you got a GSX-R, you got a ZX-10. You know what your bike makes. Actually, to be honest with you, even if you got a BMW S1000, I know you guys think you got the greatest thing in the world, but realistically, you come to my dyno, they make 185 to 190 horsepower. Big Country here got a CBR 1000 that just made 187. Hey. What did you do to that last BMW when you lined up against them? Brother. They may not have be subscribed. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Big Country Channel, for one, why wouldn't you be? I mean, look at the guy. Especially if you got a Honda. Yeah, I mean, just look at him. I mean, dude, I skunk that BMW whenever I run him. Now, people on my channel may not know what skunk means, Country. They Can got you explain Google. that? They got Google. That's how they, I mean, they got it. But, dude, this thing is fast. I mean, I'm just starting to wonder if the people that have done these CBRs before really were as lost as we thought they were to start with. There's definitely some lost CBR guys out there. So, anyways, as you can see, 187 horsepower. Now, this is on race gas. The BMWs do make it on pump gas, but for the most part, this thing is half price. So, I mean, you decide. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button if you haven't already done so. You actually should have done that as soon as you clicked on the video and you saw a big country. Because how could you not like a little cute, lovable, adorable thing like that? Smash the like button, guys. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.